Hey, what's up YouTube? It's been a while. Good afternoon from Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm at my parents' house right now. Uh, but spending like about a week here before um, I head out to Bali. Just clearing everything up. So uh, yeah, I wanted to do another practice run on the vlogging. So um, I figured I, I would uh, show you around my neighborhood. Uh, show you a couple of the schools that I went to and some of the popular spots in my neighborhood. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so this was the house that I grew up in. I think I moved here when I was about 11, 10 or 11. Stayed here till I was 17, till I got sent to boarding school. Quick view of the neighborhood, and we will get to walking. There you go. So I think anywhere in the whole world, this is probably where I'm the most familiar with my area. I'm really bad with directions. But I think this is the one place I could find my way around. It's a really nice neighborhood. There's no way I could afford a house in this kind of neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. here all the time whenever I'm stressed out. Uh, we're gonna loop around and check out my old elementary school in a bit. But let me show you guys this part first. I used to get busted smoking here. There's a security from this building comes out once in a while. Stop us from smoking. So yeah, that park over there didn't used to be there. I'm not sure what used to be there. But this apartment building didn't used to be here either. I totally forgot what was here. I think it was all part of a car dealership. Not 100% sure. Yeah, we're gonna loop around, get back on Wilshire Boulevard, and I will show you my elementary school in a bit. I think the school's shut down, hopefully. I'm not trying to film any kids. Just trying to show you around real quick. So yeah, when we're near, I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Here we go, guys. This was the elementary school I used to go to from kindergarten to second grade, I believe. Kindergarten and first grade. This whole thing used to be part of the school right here, but I'm um, not sure what it is now. Yeah, I don't think the school is open anymore. Still putting up the flag. Basketball nets look okay. I don't know. It doesn't look like a functional school. crazy 
when you think to the past and then you look at it as, as an adult and everything looks so much smaller. All this stuff used to look huge to me when I was five years old, but now not so much. I'm gonna cross the, or turn the corner right here. I'll show you guys. <laughs> the one time I ditched when I was in kindergarten. I'll show you the little spot. Actually, I don't exactly remember how I got out. But, um, actually, I don't even exactly remember where I went. I think it was back there. And then, um, that house, that neighbor had a, had like a river with like crabs and stuff in it. I remember we were playing with crabs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, I believe we snuck out somehow this way. And then I believe it was that house with the river. Yeah, that, that would make the most sense to me. Probably... I snuck out around there and through here. Man, I got in so much trouble that day. We were still gone by the time school ended and all the parents or my, my dad and uh, all the workers were freaking out. <laughs> all right, so now we will start heading towards Fairfax and um, on the way, we're gonna we're gonna head to the tar pits right now, and then um, I'll turn on the camera if there's anything interesting on the way. All right, see you in a bit. They're doing they're doing crazy ass construction over here. this subway for a really long time, many years. Not sure how much progress they made. Doesn't really look close to being done. But yeah, once it's done, I'm I'm sure it'll it'll help the traffic. But yeah, this is taking a while. Uh, where I used to wait for the bus to go to school every morning all the way to Santa Monica during high school I think this used to be the bus station right here or was it across the street it's one of these spots it's to buy my bus tokens right there oh yeah I don't know if you guys can see across the street right there. Um, that used to be Busby's, I think. And uh, before that, it was the conga room. Jennifer Lopez used to own it. I don't know, some random person told me that when I was there. And I totally forgot, um, on the way to the Tar Pits is my middle school. Right across the street over there. It's a Catholic private school. My whole grade had like 25 or 26 people in it. Basically stayed with the same, about the same 26 people for like three years. The paint job was way different than that. There's a lot of blue and green back in the day, but it's 
switched it all to peach. If I can get across the street here. I'm sure this school is still in operation. Oh, gotta be careful with the kids. I just wanna show you guys the front entrance right here. Yeah, brings back memories. Day we graduated, me and my buddy were sitting right there. And then another classmate came and threw water balloons at us. I don't know why I remember that. All right, I'll see you guys when we're a little closer to the tar pits. And so this Ralph's right here. I saw a YouTube video from like the 1950s, rolling down the street. And I think that was the Ralph's in that 1950s video. You guys could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was that one. It's crazy how long that thing's been here. All right, we're coming up on the tar pits. Um, man, I wonder if that Marie Callender's closed. Damn, I think it is closed. Holy crap. That restaurant used to be there since a long time ago. Oh yeah, it is closed. Damn. No more picking up pies here. Oh, yo, <laughs> there's people rolling down that hill. Man, in elementary school, we used to come here for field trips all the time. And I remember I was rolling down one of these hills and I rolled over some dog crap. <laughs> Got it all over my clothes. <laughs> um, uh, kind of reminded me of that time, seeing all these kids rolling down the hill. <laughs> There it is. It's our pits. I wonder how much of this land is on top of tar and why it isn't sinking. It pretty much looks like a lake right now. Yeah, without the rain, that thing used to look super thick. Walk through some of the rest of the place. I think that's the his, the Natural History Museum. There was two museums around here. Could be mistaken. Kids oh, <laughs> rolling down hills. when I hit Fairfax. It was that structure that uh, everybody puts on Instagram. 
coming from the back way, so it might not look too familiar, but there goes the art museum. I knew there was another museum around here. The History Museum over there. The art museum over here. I'll check out this structure though. nice when they light it up, light it all up at night. museum you guys know notorious big got shot over there after a party i don't know if it's still a car museum anymore though it's across this way so there was hella construction on wilshire back there so um decided to take another route Man, I hope that subway is worth it because <laughs> they're really causing a lot of a lot more car traffic, but also blocking all the foot traffic areas. Man, this is a nice ass neighborhood. Every time I come back here, there's like I recognize new buildings everywhere. All right, so it's kind of a quiet detour um, I'll see you guys when I loop around and get to the the car museum I'm about to turn the corner over here but if you can see across the street that's a uh, Johnny's coffee shop it's not an actual coffee shop but um, they use it in a lot of movies I think they use it in pulp fiction and American history, it's, I'm not 100% sure, but it definitely came out in a lot of movies. Here's a car museum. I don't even know if it's a car museum anymore. Oh yeah. Yes, still the Peterson Museum. Ooh. Yeah, I think Biggie got shot around this intersection. It was definitely after a party that they had here. You can see the Hollywood Hills up there. I'm not sure what this camera could capture. Yeah, something smells good. Can't believe that 99 cent store is still there. I think stuff still costs 99 cents. Probably 99 cents minimum. Here at Park Libre Apartments. I used to live in two different spots here. Uh, the first place I lived was somewhere like this. It was a duplex and we were on the second floor. And um, after that we lived in one of the high-rises. I'll show you guys when I get a better view of one of them. Here goes the other elementary school I used to attend. Can't really see it from this angle, but um, 
Yeah, I went here from second grade to fifth grade, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Hancock Park Elementary School. Man, I remember those windows were from, were made in like the 30s or something. And when the earthquake hit, those things used to rattle like crazy. It just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Man, I got under that desk quick. But yeah, this is the school I used to go to. I'll show you the little spot I used to ditch at. It's right around the corner right here. This was not walled off. Had like a regular, what do you call it? Like a wire type gate. Those bars weren't there either. And way back there, there used to be like a big hole on the bottom of the gate where people, where little kids could squeeze through. And I used to ditch there, not all the time, but Pretty often. Not really ditch. I was supposed to stay here for the YMCA after school program, but um, I'll just sneak out of there. And then there used to be restaurants right here. I don't know if you guys remember uh, or heard about um, Andre's. It's like a, like a hole in the wall Italian restaurant that was really popular right here. That Little Caesars used to be there, Kmart used to be there. It's all gone now. Start of a new era. What the? F Is that snow? So you guys see that? Uh, what? <laughs> Yo, like last month there was tornadoes in Monterey Park. Man, weather's getting crazy. I'll get back to you guys when I turn the corner. The grove is right over there. Yeah, this is the exact spot where I used to ditch at. I should get out of the way. So yeah, all the fences were like this, but um, the green stuff wasn't there. And there was a huge hole right here that people used to ditch. I'm glad it looks safer now. Yeah, let's get across the street. This Ross has been here forever. Glad it can still survive. Before I show you guys the grove, I wanted to do a little walk through through the farmer's market right here. It's another spot we used to come to for uh, school trips. I forgot what we used to do here. Probably just get food or something. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through here. And then uh, I'll loop around to the grove.
we are entering Pan Pacific Park. It's one of the bigger parks in the neighborhood. It's a nice little park. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. You see those high rises back there? Yeah, all along there. I don't know if you can see it, but I still live in one of those. Let's strap it back on. Opposite park. So they have like popcorn or sports here. Nice to be so jealous of my classmates that got to participate. You can get a better view of the high rise up there. Man, I remember these buildings being way taller. <laughs> Fancy apartment building didn't used to be here. It's really nice though. Probably can't afford it. There's the neighborhood Ralph's that we go to. It's the closest distance from my parents' house. That's the one they usually go to. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. So we turned the corner on 3rd Street back there. And more than halfway to my house. Um, I'm getting the munchies, man. I gotta, I'm gonna find something to eat real quick. Coming up on Highland Avenue. This street has gotten more and more crowded as I got older. So if you go straight that way, we'll get to Hollywood, Hollywood and Highland. But we don't have time for that today, so we're gonna go this way. Hollywood's uh, pretty much walkable distance from here, but yeah, I don't got too much time left today for that. down here there's like restaurants and stuff on the right over there you get something to eat I don't know why but I'm craving 7-eleven hot dogs right now I'm gonna grab a couple and make my way back home What's up guys, finally made it back home. Uh, this will be the conclusion of this vlog. This should be the last prequel vlog. Um, so the next time you guys see me, I'll be on my way to the airplane. Man, it's been a hectic week or two, past week or two. I got most of the stuff done, but um, I got one last big business thing I gotta take care of before I get out of here. But uh, other than that, I'm mostly ready to go. Got most of the stuff ready. I haven't really packed yet, but I don't have much stuff. It shouldn't take long to pack. So um, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.